Okay, so this is gonna start tomorrow. Okay, D Day actually is today. It's June sixth. Right? Okay, D Day though is tomorrow. Okay, so too last soon. Day of school right after school. This stuff is starting. Okay, all right. So last, it starts from the last day of school to the last day of camp. It's going all summer long. Okay, the game never stops. You can kill or be killed at any time. Okay, other than sports-related activities. Okay, so if we have a seven-on-seven seven, or we have mini camp, okay, or lifting. There, is, there should be no guns, okay? There are no, sorry, no blasters. There should be no Nerf blasters in the school at any time, okay? That is a huge no-no, all right? I know I just said no-no, what, what the heck, okay? So, right, if, if there are any in there, this is done right away, okay? I don't wanna be hearing from anybody else about, oh, there's someone had a Nerf gun in the school, okay? It's, I, I don't want that, okay? The locker room is always gonna be a safe room, okay? This is always your safe room. You can bring the Nerf weapons in here, okay? In fact, I would keep it in here because most of the killings, are gonna happen right outside here when you're trying to get to your car. Okay, that's where most of them's gonna happen, let's be real. Okay, but it's it's 24-7. Okay, I don't now I don't want you sneaking into each other's houses, right? But people's yards and stuff, wait for them to come out, that's cool. Right? If you have their parents' permission to sneak in, go right ahead. If your parents betray you, right? It happened to me last year. I came out, I was in my towel, right? Just got out of the shower. These mofos came in and tried to take me out. I got, I brought we one home down with me. You All right, you did, you did, right? So make sure you guys are in the Snapchat. That is how you will record your kills. If you kill somebody, right, out in the wild, they are dead, okay? They are dead for the rest of that day and you respawn at midnight, okay? So at midnight every day you will respawn, all right? So, what else, what else, what else am I missing? If you get hit anywhere on the body, you're dead. It's like Golden Gun from N64, okay? Even if you get hit in the pinky toe, that's it, man, you're dead, okay? So, the, also, the other thing is that I'm gonna talk about is the honor rule, okay? If someone says that they shot you, if you see it hit them, right, if they're running full speed, or they have an attack vest on or something, and they don't feel it, they're like, oh, I didn't feel it. No matter what, if the person sees the shot hit, and they say, hey, I hit you, you're out. There's no fighting. Okay, it's an honor rule. When operating vehicles, right, you should not be driving crazy. If you are driving, you cannot be shooting. Okay, it's that simple, right? We can have drive-bys, right, but one of your teammates that you, that you kind of team up with, right, with a shady alliance for the day or for, for the week, right, they have to be the shooter. Okay, so you cannot shoot, right, as you're driving. If you kill Coach Ren, right, or any of the other coaches that are going to be playing, right, Coach Sade might be playing too, right? It counts as two kills. Okay, we're gonna have double XP weekends every once in a while, right? So every kill will count as two. I'll throw that in the group chat. You guys will know what that is, right? There are no shields. You cannot use anything to block a bullet, okay? So if you make like a cardboard shield, like a riot shield, you can't use that, okay? Even if you use your weapon to try to block, you're immediately dead, okay? If you try to block a Nerf dart or Nerf bullet with anything, you're automatically dead. There's no blocking or anything along those lines. The same thing with your walk out to practice and your walk back, you are safe. That goes for any other people that are playing. Distance runners, swimmers, right? Or soccer players, right? If they are practicing, right? They're gonna be trying to come for you too, right? But while they are practicing, they are safe on their walk to practice and back to their vehicle. Once they, once they get back into their vehicle, then it's game, game's on, okay? Then you are live again. Open houses are off limits, okay? Open houses are off limits, right? Once you get outside of their premises, the game's on again, okay? But I don't want you guys at any open houses trying to have a firefight. It also goes for inside of a restaurant. You know someone's going out to eat with their significant other, right? You gotta be stealthy about it, okay? Make sure you guys get one of these, right? A smaller weapon, you can bring it into that restaurant and just be like, all right, here you go, kill him, talk to his, significant, his or her significant other, and be like, hey, have a nice dinner, and then be on your way. There should be no firefights in any establishment. Purge rules. During a purge, I will announce in the beginning of the day that there will be a purge from five to six. It might be seven to eight, whatever the time is. It might be noon to one, okay? It'll last an hour. If you were dead before that, you come back to life for the purge, and you can respawn every five minutes. Okay, so it's not that you're dead for the day. That is, right, so also, right, at any time that that happens, you need to turn your location on on Snapchat. Okay, you cannot be ghost mode, right? So everybody's location is getting known. It's like a spy plane, right? It's like the UAV. UAV online. Yeah, UAV's online during the purge, right? You can see where everybody is, okay? Other than that, um, okay, so I'm gonna talk a few about some of the guns, right? 
If you guys are using something like this, this is probably all you need. If you don't get this during the little wrap that we're gonna have right now, go and get one of these. They're like five bucks at Myers, right? It's three shots. Don't keep the darts loaded in your gun. They will deter deteriorate and will not shoot as good. Okay, so overnight or when you're not using it, make sure you take them out or just take them out a little bit and they can still stay in the gun, okay? But if you keep them loaded the whole time when you go to shoot when it matters most, it's just gonna just move out, okay? So you don't want that. Same with any of these other weapons. Don't keep the darts or balls loaded, okay? There is some fresh new guns over here too. Realistically, it's like the them. best thing that you need right here, okay? It's like three bucks at mine. If you guys don't get one, you can pick it up. All right? So the other thing too, you can use melee weapons, right? Melee weapons are okay, okay? But you can't use your hand, right? Or can't, I mean, it could be a sword if you want. If you have a nerf sword, go right ahead. Right, so you want to be able to conceal it if possible. Okay? Dagger of death. Yeah, or a nerf axe, that works too, okay? So you can use melee weapons, you can, okay? So the first few guys that come up and pick a weapon. How to record your kills. Um, the sheet that I posted should explain it well enough, but if not, um, if you get a kill or be killed, you need to put it in the group chat. If you get a kill, you just put plus one and you put who's, who it was that you killed and then you put what your kill and deaths are. Um, look at the sheet for the example. Um, if you get killed, you say that you're dead, you put minus one, um, and then you yet again put your kill to death. It is up to you, it is your responsibility to remember what your kill and death is. And it should stay in the chat anyways. Um, so that you can always refer to the chat to see what, what your standing is at.